good afternoon everyone thank you and uh, welcome to an attitude of gratitude workshop brought to you by workwell nyc so gratitude the punchline it is it is made after a lot of thought okay after a lot of different punchlines i believe that this is the one which is the most effective in capturing the gist of what an attitude of gratitude can do for you it is a gift which will keep giving and it's especially nice with the holiday season coming up and you know uh, whether you're giving gifts getting gifts uh, with this one practice you are setting yourself up for receiving gifts recurring gifts time and again so i'm going to close the music now i'm assuming that is uh, i don't know if it's disturbing so i'm closing the music so for those who of you who are very new and don't know about work well this is your friendly workplace provider uh, provides free programming and projects um, offerings in physical health mental health diet nutrition taking action against diseases and health equity and awareness so look out for our monthly newsletter if you're not familiar check out for every month you get a uh, upcoming events so do check it out overview of workshop will be going through what is gratitude the most important thing why should you practice you know it's a nice quality but why really what is it uh, then some ideas or many ideas we'll explore of how to cultivate a grateful mindset then do a few exercises and then wrap up also uh, you know if we are able to wrap up quickly i would like to do a uh, meditation at the end so this is completely optional for those of you who would like to just listen in a little bit of like guided meditation and relax uh, please uh, stay on so what is gratitude now this comes from the latin word gratia which is grace graciousness or gratefulness and depending upon context it can you know mean uh, any or all of these things and a dictionary definition it's a thankful appreciation for what an individual receives whether tangible or intangible with gratitude people acknowledge the goodness in their lives it is what helps connect people to something which is larger than themselves and whether you know depending upon your your beliefs it's whether to other people nature higher power or beyond it's also being the quality of being thankful it's a uh, showing appreciation for what you get in life and also returning that kindness and you know there are so many definitions these are just the few which we uh, chose some quotes a grateful mind is a great mind which eventually attracts to itself great things the miracle of gratitude is that it shifts your perception to such an extent that it changes the world you see and you know for those of you for whom like gratitude is uh, you know like before i started um working on this uh, the first time when i started researching for gratitude workshop i am going to be uh, i'll confess that of course i knew the meaning of gratitude but i really didn't think much of it i just thought it's some one of those nice noble qualities which other people have and i love gratitude people but <laughs> grateful people and those who you know are more grateful uh, but i didn't really think of it 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 wasn't on the list of my top to do resolutions this is what i want to be and for me mostly gratitude was kind of like without really subconsciously it's like oh just being just being positive you know a little bit maybe glossing over the negatives and just keep saying okay, all is good this is somewhat like you know if i'm being critical with myself but in a uh, other thing is just about one nice quality which is nice to have but i'm just too busy and i have just too many things on my plate to really focus on developing this so this was my thing and after i finished or as i started researching i realized that uh gratitude is just so much more than what most people think whether it is just like being more thankful or just being more appreciative it it really changes um this as this quote says it really changes how um you see things 
And if you think about it, everything is really in our experience, right? Um, you, you and a colleague, you know, walk into a room, a meeting happens and uh, it's the same thing which both people experience, but both can walk off feeling very different, very different takeaways. So, so really depending upon your attitude, uh, it shifts your experience of life, whether it's positive or negative. And so it's very important. Uh, attitude does make a big difference. And the third quote, uh, gratitude unlocks the fullness of life. It turns what we have into enough and more. It turns denial into acceptance, chaos to order, confusion to clarity. I mean, I admit the last line is really very grand and noble, but the top line is something which is, as you will see, as we go through the significance and the science, what it says that it does unlock something. It does bring more to your life uh, without you really doing anything more than just this practice. So we will do a quick poll. Okay, I'm... Okay, so I, I hope you can see it. So just please... Um... Okay, I'm gonna just share what I'm seeing. In real time the results so uh multiple like the highest is giving sincere thanks and the next is about half the people grateful positive outlook and the third in line is mental practice so that that's great so it, so every one of you is doing some practice or the other and many of you are doing uh, multiple so that's that's really great i'm going to share this so everyone can see Okay, so one more poll. How often do you practice gratitude? So the top is always the next is often and the third is sometimes but that's very very good now this is i'm going to share results so you you all are already uh doing it which is actually not surprising that's why you are here it's you know it's like those of of you who are, I mean, those people who realize how important it is are understandably attending it to just get a little more recharger, more refresher, more motivation. I just wish, you know, knowing how I used to feel, I just wish that more people attend or see, uh, whether here or, you know, elsewhere, the how, how significant the gratitude practice is beyond what it just means, gratitude. So, so that look is supposed to be, you know, like, did you know it's really I think it captures myself because I didn't know I didn't know most of these benefits so it's like a fun way uh, that there's just so much more uh, to gratitude than what we think as just being grateful so we will see this uh, I think this short video really captures nicely so I'm going to play it I hope you hear it well so the craziest thing happened to me today so, I got a psychic reading. I know. Social behavior also linked to greater happiness. People who capture grateful thoughts before bed sleep better than those who don't. Why so many positive changes? Because gratitude actually rewires our brains, kickstarting the production of dopamine and serotonin. Like antidepressants, these feel-good neurotransmitters activate the bliss center of the brain, creating feelings of happiness and contentment. This appears to be self-perpetuating. Research suggests that with regular practice, you'll train your prefrontal cortex to better appreciate and retain positive experiences and thoughts, and to deflect the negative ones. Here are a few simple ways to deliberately cultivate that attitude of gratitude. Celebrate minor accomplishments. Think about what you have, rather than dwelling on what you don't. Tell the people in your life something you appreciate about them. Tell yourself too. 
volunteer, hold a door for a stranger, or simply smile more, and you'll probably feel better, as kindness and giving are connected to gratitude. Similar positive brain changes can occur from regular meditation and mindfulness. Keep a daily gratitude journal using an old-fashioned notebook or a high-tech app. The science is clear. Give gratitude a go. You'll be thankful you did. Okay, so I, you know, that there's just so, that is an old video, by the way, you know, there's so much more that has happened in, in research uh, than this, but this is a, I, the graphics were nice and it just was quick. Um, um, so, you know, why develop an attitude of gratitude, right? Like why do we are just so busy and there's just so many other things that we have to spend time on. So why really does this deserve? And that's what I'm trying to put a case uh, in front of you as to why, why it is uh, worth your time. So, um, I want to just uh, repeat a point which was said earlier that irrespective of where you are in terms of your ability to be grateful, you everyone has the ability to invoke that quality or uh, just be whether, you know, just consciously just being more grateful. And um, any, you know, just like we take some medicine for something and there are side effects. I I. I see this as one of those rare things where you're you're doing something for like being more grateful and there are a bunch of side effects of positive side effects which you get whether you know you you're interested in those or not or whether you really thought of it or not it's like a it's like a free download of really beautiful additional things in in your life which you will get so going over some of them Happiness. I mean, this is one thing which we can all agree is on the top list for anyone. Science has uh, shown a very high relation of those who practice gratitude and feel happier. And again, right now, you know, we are not getting into how that happens because that's just beyond the scope of this. And, and even scientists who research this, they're not exactly sure and they give their theories. Uh, it's like things change in the brain and the attitude change, this, that. But but the fact of the matter is there is a very high correlation. So there's something which just the, the quality or the practice of expressing or being more grateful does, which, which just unlocks and draws upon all these things, which makes us more of them. Then it increases uh, resiliency and... So, you know, before I move on to resiliency, I want to uh, quote uh, 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 the director of Stanford University. He said, gratitude is something that leads to a much more sustainable form of happiness because it's not based in immediate gratification. It's a frame of mind. And, and to give an example of this, we quickly get happy, right? Like end of the day, a meeting you're not prepared for get canceled. It's just short happiness. It passes. You get like a drink. Uh, which you really love or some meet a friend all these like give us like short burst of happiness and they pass but the thing about gratitude is it's it's different um it has it has a quality the happiness which comes from gratitude they say is just more fulfilling um and it is lasting so regarding resiliency um, again, I'm going to quote a research scientist so I'm not I don't want to explain um, my understanding. So this person is a top uh, researcher in the field of resiliency and serious mental health conditions. And he said, I have no problem admitting that at first the findings threw me off and I dismissed it. My various works include law enforcement, investigative suicide and helping people in crisis. I asked myself, how could gratitude possibly fit in? But the more I researched, the more I realized how important gratitude truly is and the impact it has on resiliency and overall mental health. Regularly expressing gratitude helps rewire the brain to be more positive and resilient. So I think that very nicely explains it. So building stronger relationships. So 
uh, I mean, you know, I have like a lot of pages here, which is like a lot. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> So I've got all these pages, which have all this research and everything. So I'm just like very quickly touching upon some things uh, to give you something, uh, a flavor of, of the research. So it improves numerous aspects of one's relationships and basically in law, either it like makes them long lasting, it brings in more satisfaction, makes you feel more connected. It can start new friendships, uh, strengthen existing ones. This one is surprising, right? Like improves a self-esteem. Um, so they say that uh, people uh, who are more grateful have higher sense of self-esteem. And that's because when people intentionally start focusing on the positives uh, and the ways other people are good with them, you know, again, this is attitude, right? Something happens and one person can view is it like, oh, that's so nice, this person did this thing versus a different attitude can be, oh, didn't really do all these things, just did this thing. So it's it's a and and this helps people to develop a stronger sense of their own value. And then grateful people are less likely to judge themselves or compare themselves with others. And this we can all relate. How many times we put ourselves down or just get in a low mood because we are so critical with ourselves. We just have such high standards. We so are like, you know, many of us like give others benefit of doubt and understanding. But when it comes to us, it's it's a whole different thing. And we really sometimes put ourselves down. And increased patience. So studies found that those who are more grateful um, are in, in small everyday things, not like a very big, you know, gratitude, uh, kind of like a practice, even like small things are more patient are, and are better able to make more sensible decisions compared to those who didn't have like a regular uh, practice. So very interesting. So next, so these are quality of life benefits. I grouped them into like, you know, the like a physical and the non or physical. Um, then this one is really, these findings surprised even those researchers who are studying it because again, gratitude is not something which typically people associate with physical health. But um, gratitude supports heart health. It lowers the risk of heart disease and it causes psychological changes in the body that helps heart rate and breathing and helps in overall relaxation. Gratitude reduces depression, stress, and anxiety. Now, uh, in a review of 70 studies, they found um, higher levels of gratitude associated with lower levels of all these three uh, factors and also gratitude acts as a coping tool for anxiety and it combats negative thinking patterns and again understand like all these things are not something which you have to think like okay how I'm going to practice gratitude and how I'm going to use that to reduce depression or stress anxiety no it, according to what I've read and understood um, this just happens it's just it's it's like the the more grateful we are, the more we practice small gratitude uh, acts. It changes our moods. It changes something in our brain. It changes our attitude. And that's why it's not like the external circumstances change. It's more like our ability to deal with this and get affected changes. Improved sleep quality, which really it, it makes sense now. You know, it, when we are stressed, when we are upset, we go to bed low energy uh it affects us so when above factors are improved automatically that is going to improve the sleep quality mindful eating another another way of saying um healthier eating right uh, so i'm going to quote a cognitive scientist uh, said that eating um psycho on eating psychology said that gratitude replenishes willpower it is seen to boost impulse control and make better decisions. And that's so again interesting. And this we can understand. Like if our impulse, so many times in terms of choosing, at least I'm speaking for myself, going for unhealthy versus healthy, it's like that impulse that just like little bit that moment where without thinking or like I just go for it and then it's too late. So the, this practice helps in just better control and also it increases um, uh, will so it helps us to make better decisions optimism you know again 
we can understand like if 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 we start focusing on the positives in life instead of negative naturally we are going to feel more optimistic about it so that makes sense improved us uh, more energy um it's not there but i have it here uh, so it also improves your energy and again that makes sense because if you are having better sleep if you are having less stress less conflicts better relationships of course you know those are all the energy uh, sappers right so we are going to have more energy so so this now i mean we finished the why like just as, uh, seeing the science going through some of the you know key points the benefits i've tried to give a little bit of uh, uh, scientific tidbits here and there you're most welcome to look up more like in the wrap-up email uh, i'll be sharing this deck and it has the resource some of the resources but you can also look up at more so cultivating a gratitude mindset okay so now we went through the what and the why and now just exploring again the next few slides we will be looking at some ways because uh, many times we just think gratitude practice means this or that and just the purpose of this is to open the box that there's so much more and then you can explore on your own or just start with some of these So these are some ideas, which again, you know, this is something which I just selected. Uh, there's just so much more. Please do your own exploration. Keeping a gratitude journal. So now there's this research and it's a very famous one that that pe people, they say that people who undertake writing three good things daily in report a increased happiness and reduction in negative emotions in as less as two weeks. I mean, this just sounds so incredible, right? Um. So definitely put this on your to-do, you know, just this is something you can do in office. Um, every day when you come, the first thing you do, just put in uh, uh, three good things. Do it the first, not the end of the day, you know. You want to increase your chances of doing it. So uh, a, a scientist commented on this finding as follows. If there was a drug that did that, someone would become very rich. So, I mean, you know, imagine just like everything we are doing, it's all for happiness, right? It's all for being more happy. So if doing something as simple and inexpensive and low key, low effort as doing a few gratitude uh, practices, you know, here and there is going to make us more happy, why, why shouldn't we, you know, prioritize this? And also writing is a very, uh, one of the most simple and effective ways, tangible ways. So you also feel good. You'll have your little diary and, you know, you're doing it when you're in low mood, you can look back and, you know, read those things. So sign, many of you were doing affirmation and prayer. So you already know um, how it feels for those who don't do this. I recommend, you know, if you have a, you know, a prayer or, affirmation great if not just look up just look up a simple any quote anything which you feel resonates with you or what you need and just do it in the morning or night pick up a time and and do it also it said that um when you go to sleep the last thoughts play a very big role uh in your quality of sleep so you can just do it as a nighttime thing when you're like horizontal start doing an affirmation or a prayer and go, fall to sleep that do this for a week or two and see uh, if it makes difference. Again, you know why I have put these few things on the top is because our number one reason why we say we are not able to do health and wellness, you know, put out time is because of business or because we don't have time between office, home, commute and everything else. But these are the things which we can do parallelly without having to take out extra times. And so I'm putting this there, meditation. I cannot stress enough how important the practice of meditation is. So meditation rewires the brain. Um, it is an all round health and wellness practice. This is what I believe. If you just have five minutes to do and you, you only have five minutes for wellness, I recommend meditation because it, it includes everything. It, it also makes you more grateful. Uh, so it's like all in one. And for those who already do some practice, great for those who are 
have just heard or knew or don't really know how to start, I can uh, just re email me and I can give you a very simple routine and you can start with that. And what we just did earlier, um, for, um, you can do that. You, and for those who weren't, who weren't there earlier. Uh, so just sit straight, keep your spine straight, eyes relaxed, body relaxed, like just roll your shoulders up and down, do a little bit of like couple of neck rotations just to start. Then you can sit cross-legged or on the chair or on the bed doesn't matter, make sure just your spine is straight, comfortably relaxed body. Close your eyes and just focus on your breath. Couple of minutes, just focus on the breath without controlling two, three minutes and after that, sit one to two minutes silence and that's your meditation practice. You start with that for six months and, and see what, what it will do. Giving sincere thanks is one of the most well-known, you know, you, whenever something happens and this is not just when someone gives you, you know, gives you something and is like, thanks. No, no this, this is not that. This is more like whenever anything positive happens to you, whether in the form of some human being or like, you know, environment, just acknowledge that. Just feel, you don't have to say actually thank you, but just feeling and acknowledging that positive is what this is about. Then small acts of service, this is like, you know, volunteer work. And this felt like counterintuitive because shouldn't those who are beneficiaries of the, you know, volunteer work be gra grateful rather than those who are, you know, being selfless and taking their time? Uh, it's both. It's, again, research says that those who engage in volunteer activities just get, there's a sense of happiness and fulfillment and feeling increases the, just your personal associations of what you're doing and that just makes people more grateful and also it explains why people would keep doing it right like all those everyone is so busy and then people are taking their time out and going weekends and doing all these things so something must be happening to them in addition to just really genuine motivation to help others but somewhere it must be filtering in subconsciously and boosting them which i believe is the reason why you you know, people continue. I mean, I don't think any one of us would continue anything which doesn't really give us happiness voluntarily. Okay, lastly, physical and visual reminders. So these can be, you see that bottom left, uh, that image, it, it, it really can be anything, a quote, an item, anything which makes you feel grateful. This is so you can keep it near your office desk or your bedside desk. And it's like just if you're really busy, you just look at it and it evokes gratitude, right? And that checks check marks your small dose of gratitude for the day. So I, you know, if there are, if you have any ideas beyond this, please put in the chat so everyone can see. We'll just give like 10, 15 seconds if their ideas are coming. I just want to just help like you know there's just so much more and if you if you know of something which is like you know not covered here at all do share uh, with others exercises so i'm going to put on music okay so everyone gets into the cafe mood Let me know if the music is too low. So the, you know, the purpose, uh, I mean, we went through a general, like there are different ways to do gratitude, cultivate gratitude. These exercises are something with just a little more tangible, intentional activity. And if you're not able to complete uh, one of the exercises, little more take, needs a deeper dive, continue it uh, afterwards because it's really helpful. So, this, okay, this is not months, okay, the moments. Please take a few moments to, th to think and share in the chat a few things that you are grateful for. And this is such a beautiful quote, feeling gratitude and not expressing it is like wrapping a gift and not giving it.
So people make sure that your chat is to everyone. Uh, I am getting your messages, many of the messages. It's so nice to read all these different ideas. You know, if I, I hope I remember what I'll do is I'll also attach the chat. So for, you know, if, for those who are interested, you can just look into ideas for how you can practice gratitude. Family, friends, health. Get <laughs> cat zoomies. Yeah, less is more. You know this um this thing about like living a life like with minimalism, it reminds me of a quote like so many of the problems will this is not my my quote, I've read it somewhere that so many of our problems will go away if we just simplify our lives. It was much more like you know, in nicely worded than that, but that's what I remember. Just making life less complicated. Thank you. Thank you everyone for sharing. I hope everyone is like, you know, reading through because that's the purple of this. It's just seeing all these different ways and ideas. Uh, you don't have to remember it right now, but later on it will give you some thoughts. Okay, so we will move on to the next one. Think of someone who helped or did something nice for you recently, but you missed thanking them or missed really properly conveying your appreciation. And if not now, after the workshop, be sure to send them even like a quick email or text message. It can be as like, just like, thank you for this thing, or it can be more if that was a very meaningful or touching thing, uh, what the person did, it touched you. You know, we think it's, it's no big deal or it doesn't matter, but getting sincere acknowledgement or hearing from someone that something which we did made them happier or they felt touched or cared for just hearing this also it's it's just such a, a beautiful feeling you know this board reminds me actually we did like last year um i'd, I'd put up a wall like a grat like a board in our pantry like gratitude wall and just put in a note saying just write things which you are great, grateful for. And you can do this in your office. You know, I think there's an email which was sent around uh, to our ambassadors, work with ambassadors to do this as an activity. But you can, I mean, I did this very informally. I, I'm going to show you because I, it's just there. Here. No, I can't show it because of the screen and all. But anyway, it's just a simple like board and I put in like a gratitude and I gave like a, this thing, write what you are grateful for and there are just so many messages and some are really funny uh it just will you know nice thing for do to like during thanksgiving okay this one's a simple one the next one is not so uh this one okay now think of a challenge or a difficult situation you faced in the past few months past year and which was difficult which you associate as something like bad that happened. And now, for the purpose of this exercise, just put on a broader lens, like think of something positive, something which at that point you didn't realize, but something good, however small that came out of it in retrospect. And if you have a pen and paper, actually write down, and uh, this is a very, very good uh, exercise because We'll go into later what all it does, but before that, I just like take a few moments to do it sincerely. So think of anything positive, like um, some some lesson you learned, 
something good which happened or it, at that time you felt it was really difficult but later on turned out that you know something different happened whatever it is so we'll we'll have like half a minute or more or for this so please take try to put down your thoughts and feel free to just do it for yourself you can also do it in chat it's really up to you but this is kind of a deeper dive because there are a few things which we are going to pick out of this exercise so look at it in different ways i mean really the intent is something happened which was bad and later on few weeks few months or a year from then in retrospect can you see some positive things a silver lining or two that came out of it which at that moment you didn't realize so there's some more text on the slide so what you're supposed to do if it's not clear It's really imagine yourself as an outside observer objective and then really the exercise about any lessons or insights gained how did it contribute to your growth because no matter how challenging how hard even if nothing positive came out of it it made you stronger it made you wiser right something find some positive things Okay so you can continue this exercise but I'm just going to give what it does okay and this is again coming from research so when we get into a habit of looking for something positive or some lessons during or after a challenging or a you know quote like a bad event or a situation it it is incredibly empowering it empowers us because in future when something negative what we perceive as negative starts happening because of this exercise of knowing and acknowledging that in the past every time there was like a bad thing that happened there were some good things which came out of it just this knowledge buffers us from assuming the worst it makes us more resilient it makes us less susceptible to you know feeling going very down being depressed and when we are down and depressed we are going to it's going to be harder but if we think when things are happening that maybe there's something which will turn out good which i don't see right now which i know does happen and if nothing else i learn something it will just make me better for future just this awareness reduces the impact of the negative situation on you so this is so good activity to do keep doing it every time something challenging happens to you you know immediately and then do it again after 3 6 months it doesn't need time it just you're sitting in a subway bus and thinking about it and just acknowledging oh i thought this is going to happen but this didn't really happen this way i was unnecessarily worried say that that also you know changes our uh, our tendency or patterns of assuming the worst or uh, feeding our fears that kind of loop so this has a lot of positives this this practice so it doesn't seem like a gratitude practice right but but it has it also makes you more uh, grateful for things uh, when things are happening and it um so i'm going to read out this it creates a shift in our outlook 
and in future how we recollect that event so it minimizes the grief which which is like typically what happens when we don't process when we only think of something as bad and it helps us to no that is a terrifying thing to miss okay it helps us to understand that there's a silver lining which we can't see at the moment and that helps face future situations in a better way okay so we are like you know towards the end uh, so just a little more so this exercise you know if for those of you who did it can please share was there anything interesting surprising if you did this for the first time like looking at that challenging incident in a new way you don't have to share anything personal but something which like you realized or something interesting that okay there there were more positives or it it wasn't as bad as you thought it can be as generic as that please do share <laughs> that is so sweet you know i'm right back at you liz It's just so heartwarming to see these uh, messages. You really are, you know, that's what it does. When we just take a moment to reflect and introspect, just so many things happen in inside which are bottled up and which aren't really processed. thank you for all who are sharing and i'm i'm getting a lot of you know direct messages i really you know it's very touching to to read that uh, how you are seeing the positives in some really hard situations which you went through <laughs> thank you i really appreciate that denise thank you i you know i just on a side note i I actually I I didn't have a uh, sleep last night because of something and just earlier half an hour ago I was talking to my colleagues in work well like you know I'm I'm feeling uh, sad for all of you that I am low energy today just because I'm not feeling well and I hope that it doesn't suffer the quality of you know my because I uh, the pro, the delivery because I feel so strongly about how valuable this is this practice how it's such a minimal minimal input maximum output it just has so many uh free uh health benefits um that i just wish more people realize and it there's a, a realization and awareness of how just a simple um thing like being more grateful and focusing on uh, gratitude can make you happier will increase your heart health is going to make your relationships better it's going to make you more resilient i mean can you believe it it it's even after doing all this research and doing this it just feels so uh unbelievable too good to be true where where it is true uh okay thank thank you everyone i'm i really appreciate some of the messages and the personal messages so i'm going to continue uh thank you for sharing um so um this is self reflection um we just did this okay so I'm, we don't have to go over this but the purpose of this it's really uh like skills gifts qualities behavior traits uh which you have no actually no this this is a new exercise sorry sorry so this is about focusing on the bright side okay self ref- reflection um think of this is very important very few of us do think of something which you have taken uh, for granted about yourself or you don't appreciate yourself enough about certain things certain gi- uh, gifts or qualities which you have just write write them down and it's okay if you don't want to share with everyone you are welcome to share but just do it for yourself if you were a 
third person and you knew everything about you the way you know what are the things would you appreciate more what are the things you would be grateful for do do this sincerely you know we all deserve it as someone who often you know a, a a friend once told me you beat yourself with not one but two baseball bats by the way i don't play baseball I, but it's i i think many of us do that you know we are so hard on ourselves something which we have as gifts and talents is like well you know i didn't do anything about it um we we need to have a very healthy attitude towards ourselves and by acknowledging and appreciating the things whether they are gifts naturally you are born with that or whether you work for it whether you worked on improving some skills professionally or personally just write that down i don't know when uh, when another time you will do that so so do, so take a few moments to write it down if you run out of time um continue this after the workshop and then um treat yourself treat yourself you know take yourself out somewhere do something nice which you haven't done it's it's very important that we reward ourselves you know okay so i'll move on and now this is the so this beautiful quote we do not learn from experiences we learn from reflecting on experiences actually this is what i meant was like the previous exercise take away uh something i you know i i read a talk just a couple of weeks ago and i remember this thing that person said about challenging situations or challenging incidents which happened to us he said that most of the times people remember that experience and every time they remember it's like they're going over that grief again and again and again so he said don't remember the experience remember the lesson just take the lesson with you and let go of the experience so beautiful right i wrote it down write it down to it <laughs> just just this just this thing remember the lesson not the experience so this brings to the end of last section so okay so thank you for still being here i'm just seeing it, it's incredible most of you are still here um so a key takeaway should i lower the music now okay i will in case you like it and want it lowered and on in the background let me know okay uh, okay so i'll put it i'll just lower it so that key takeaways acknowledging the good that you already have in your life is the foundation for all abundance so we just did this exercise uh in the previous slide gratitude is not only the greatest of virtues but the parent of all the others you know all these quotes without having done this workshop without having research honestly i it, i wouldn't have related to it so what are the few things you know the, there's just so much information which we covered right, in terms of benefits and the research and everything but few things if you have to take from what is going to be the importance of gratitude why you should give one or two minutes of your daily life uh, for it it will change your perspective and investment of couple of minutes of one uh, exercise of gratitude you are sort of building up something which is going to not change the situations which you will face or what good you are going to get but it's going to change how you feel about it and it's all in the experience right at the end of the day end of the year it really doesn't matter two people get the same amount of money maybe and one person is so happy feel, feeling everything i really need is covered and the other person is just really upset thinking this is just too less 
so it is all in the perspective you know it is all in the perspective about how we look at things and our view is what really determines tangibly for us so the the more you know gr- grateful perspective we have the happier perspective we have the happier and rosier our world is going to become for us now now you will believe this after all the benefits gratitude creates an opening it's like it's like an opening a door or a window which is going to just bring in more good things into your life right it's you you don't have to what we saw earlier is you just do whatever you want in terms of the practices and it's going to just make you happier it's going to make you resilient it's going to help your heart <laughs> lungs better you don't have to think okay how am i going to use this gratitude practice to make my heart uh, healthier no we just start working on being more grateful and all the good things are going to be added <laughs> to us it's it's going to be downloaded slowly it helps develop many other positive qualities in you, you just become a better person uh, more resilient more able to deal with uh, life's challenges and there are so many quality of life and health benefits which we covered earlier so just just take a moment you know see it's it's worth it's worth it and if you are very busy if you are already doing many health and wellness practices you know like you know physical uh, wellness or any other things choose practices where you don't need extra time night time when you are sleeping affirmation prayer when you are having your cup of coffee just reflect on what is one good thing which happened to me or which i did to someone you know don't let the time reason come in the way because i can speak from my own experience there are so many things which i don't do thinking i don't have time but i know that that's not real reason i mean it's a very good excuse uh, sometimes but it's not really the reason we can always find time or do multitasking in a way which doesn't compromise the quality of one thing and and do more wellness in our life okay so this we are going to run through this because it's just a reminder set an intention to be more grateful choose a daily habit anything we we saw so many uh, different ways appreciate the presence of loved ones in your life don't don't assume that they just know or they don't need it or it's too awkward to say no just say it before you know while they are still there in your life i i feel this you know too many people don't hear uh i mean the best things about them are said in in memoriam Mem- memoriam i don't know however that is pronounced it's it's after we pass away that's when people remember the best about us let's just share things whether it's your colleagues whether it's the doorman whether whoever it is whom you kind of like feel are good just conveying a smile it doesn't have to be i'm so thankful for you just like a little smile just the, the vibration the energy which you feel you know just let it let it out doing small things for others we saw that it comes back to us there's a return and look for positives in difficult situation you know no matter what happens start focusing on the silver linings create your own gratitude action plan just start with any practices we like you know we so many things which we went over choose any one or pick your own then pick a time choosing i'm sorry the the thing the animation did work that was supposed to disappear uh be consistent don't be discouraged if you miss a few days just start on you know it's just like a just just do it and acknowledge and appreciate the benefits as soon as you start noticing it and um to end so this is like kind of putting it all together okay just remember it doesn't matter whether how grateful a person you are right now or not it doesn't matter we saw that you just it's it's a quality it's a muscle which can be built so let's start with the top box okay it doesn't matter you're from 0 to 10 you are 0 on the gratitude score you start your practices uh whatever you want to do we saw science says that people who practice gratitude are more happier they feel more fulfilled their relationships improves all, all those good things will start 
what will happen when even one of this happens you are going to feel more grateful naturally right you will feel happy when that happens it's going to start developing your grateful mindset it's just naturally it's like if you feel start feeling more grateful you are you are on the track to develop an attitude of gratitude and once you start developing you have built that muscle slightly what will happen you will naturally engage in more grat- grateful practices so you see it's such a incredibly nice uh, like a upward spiral it doesn't matter where you start you know just just start so with that it's one one and we are at the end and all of you are almost here thank you so much uh, i'm going to send a wrap up email if you have any questions please reach out uh and i really thank you for joining and please do start you know something it's such a nice easy way it's a super power i feel one of the super you know super foods it's like those things i i feel this is a practice which is a super food uh thing where you we are doing so little and what we are getting is just so much more thank you everyone and i'm grateful for you to you know be here and um do do uh start some practice let us know anything uh which which you do something which we can i- incorporate later on in our you know gratitude programming thank you and i have a wonderful wonderful rest of the day and weekend and now i'm going to look into chat and catch up on my messages